First and only on four residents of a San Juan neighborhood say they are being terrorized by vandals and burglars. CBS 4's Anneli Ortiz found out how a city ordinance is stopping some people from protecting their property. She's live with more. Marcy, take a look here. This is just some of the vandalism that has struck this neighborhood here near Ohio and Ridge. Now, one resident wants to keep criminals away by barricading them by extending a fence around the front of his property. But that man is now finding himself having to overcome a barrier of his own. When the sun sets on this San Juan neighborhood near Ohio and Ridge Road, residents say it becomes a playground for criminals. There was one another neighbor. Most of their property got stolen. I've had my front yard terrorized. I've had plants stolen. I've had, I had tomatoes growing out here. I get up in the morning and they were all gone. Some of the residents in this neighborhood say calling the police doesn't work. That's why they're taking matters into their own hands. You can see where they stole the emblem. One resident, Eddie Garcia, says surveillance cameras and no trespassing signs can only do so much. He wants something bigger. Just when I, I install a fence so they don't have this free pass to vandalize my property. But constructing the fence might be easier said than done. City manager Ben Arjona tells CBS 4 News that this city ordinance prevents fences from being constructed within 20 feet of a street. Garcia says his safety is more important than the ordinance. They got to forget about this absurd uh, ordinance that they come out with. They got to get to the point and the things that we need. That is the security and the safety. Many of his neighbors agree. You got to take in consideration, I'm here by myself, and some of my neighbors, we're single. We're getting older. We need to make sure we're safe. Garcia has applied for a permit from the city of San Juan to potentially get permission to build a fence. For now, he says he's sleeping with his doors locked and his windows shut. We reached out to the San Juan Police Department. We wanted to know if they plan to increase patrols in this area. After all of these residents have complained, we did not hear back before the newscast. We will follow up. Live in San Juan, Annalise Ortiz, CBS4 News and ValleyCentral.com.